Denvax Dendritic Cell Therapy What most of us know about cancer is that it brings suffering and it can cause mortality. What most of us do not know is that nobody is immune to it. The more aware and educated we are in cancer, the better we can help ourselves and our families from getting this disease. Hi, I'm Dr. Sharmeen and today I would like to share with you some of the lesser known facts about cancer. Cancer is preventable. Some 35 to 50 percent of cancers are preventable by choosing good lifestyle, healthy habits, diet and nutrition. A third of cancers are due to smoking and a third of cancers are because of nutrition, diet, physical activity and obesity. Cancer is treatable. By treatable I don't mean curability. Cure is possible in early disease of the stage when cancers are diagnosed early during their course of development. Cancer is treated by surgery, radiation and chemotherapy and there is a new modality in cancer treatment, it's called immunotherapy or biologic therapy. It works at boosting immune responses against cancer. However, killing cancer alone is not sufficient unless we treat the pain, the fatigue, the depression and the anxiety that comes with the diagnosis. That's why the approach in cancer treatment is uh, an integrated or a multidisciplinary approach wherein we use the conventional methods as well as the alternative and complementary system of medicine. Cancer is not a homogeneous disease, that means there are subtypes, which also means that, for example, 70% of cancer cells get killed by a single drug. For the remaining 30%, we have to use another drug. Cancer in one person is very different from cancer in another person. And, for example, lung cancer in one patient can be very different from lung cancer in another person. Cancer is a very slow process, it takes months to years to develop and there is an underlying phenomena, it's called chronic inflammation. Certain chronic inflammatory conditions like chronic bronchitis, chronic hepatitis, pancreatitis, cystitis, cholecystitis, these are inflammatory conditions of different parts of the body and these, oh, when they get chronic and they are very prolonged and long-standing, that is when they turn into cancer. And awareness is, is required because if we treat these conditions at the right stage, there are lesser chances of them getting converted to cancer. Part of the reason why cancer is hard to treat is because it is mostly silent and the complaints arise only when the tumor has grown to a certain size. And the tumor burden is inversely proportional to cure. So cure gets possible only when the disease is diagnosed early, when the tumor burden is less. Stage 4 is a long stage, it is not the end, which means that there is much we can do to reduce the suffering, improve the quality of life and survival. The future of cancer treatment lies in telemed therapies or customized treatments, which means that there is a shift from one size fits all approach to a more personalized medicine. Part of the reason why cancer is rising is because we are surviving more and also because of the lifestyle habits, the choices we make and the food, the nutrition, obesity and concurring diseases. Just about 5-10% to 10 of cancers are hereditary, that is they run in families, the rest are acquired. There is also an element of chance, as we know not all smokers get cancer, but there is nobody who is immune to cancer. So it's important to learn the warning signals, methods to detect cancer early and making healthy and informed choices. Cancer is not just any other disease. It has human rights, economic and social implications. Affordability is a factor which hampers the treatment outcome. As we know, cancer is costly. So ignorance and poverty, unfortunately, are what prove disastrous in this disease. Awareness in cancer is the key step to gaining control in cancer. As per the World Health Organization, it says that prevention is central to reducing cancer. And the knowledge of prevention comes from knowledge of causation. So what causes cancer is how we learn how to prevent it. By knowing the warning signals, methods to detect early, and making healthy and informed choices, we can help ourselves and our families from getting this disease. When we work at prevention of cancer, we are also preventing a cluster of diseases which is accounting for a large number of deaths. These diseases are, the, are also lifestyle diseases 
and they include respiratory diseases, cardiovascular diseases which is also called heart disease and diabetes. And the, together all these diseases they account for almost 78% of deaths globally. I hope to continue this discussion with you uh, on cancer prevention, knowing the warning signals and how together we can bring control in cancer. Thank you so much. I'm going to share with you my tip of the day. Winters are around the corner and most of us like to give our clothes for dry cleaning. The dry cleaning uh, is actually uses a compound called trichloroethylene or perchloroethylene and this acts as a solvent. It is often used as a spot remover and uh, this is actually a toxic compound. It is, uh, it, is, it is known to cause cancer and it has a strong correlation with kidney cancer. So my advice to you would be to ask your dry cleaner what compounds they are using as this is a known carcinogen. The other good option would be to put your clothes outdoors and let them be there for a few days before you actually start to use them. The workers working in a dry cleaning industry are more at risk of getting this cancer. So this is uh, to inform them as well to use protective clothing and protective equipment against this. Also, the good idea would be to keep your clothes outside or outdoors uh, for at least a few days uh, before you start to use it.